we're back. <laughs> we're back. <laughs> What's up, my dude? Back in the saddle. Because we're... I don't want to start singing right now. It's too early to start singing. Smitten as kitten. <laughs> <laughs> Smitten as kitten. Smitten as kitten. Smitten as kitten. Dude, that's a good tune right there. Thanks, dude. That's My new t- single I'm working on in this quarantine. Did you just come up with that? Huh? You just came up no, with No, I've been working on that for weeks. You know what? You know what I've been working on all week? What's that? My posture. Have you? Oh, dude. Watch that watch that last video released. Straight back. Worst posture I've ever seen. I mine's all right. A little it's decent cuz drumming, dude. I got to stay up a little bit. I don't know, dude. You look really good on frame. I look like I'm just like <laughs> No, dude. You're, yeah, dude. You're handsome. I don't know, dude. When you're handsome, I'm handsome cuz we're brothers, so. Yeah. Yeah, you know, I don't have that uh Hold on, sorry. I got to Sorry, guys, I'm old. I'm old. Had to check something real quick. You good? He had to check his pager real fast. Had to check my pager. Kids out there. No, dude, but bad posture. I don't think people realize how bad uh, your their posture is until they actually see it. It affects you, man. Yeah, maybe that's why it affects your sleeping. Everything. I've been really upset thinking that I have a double chin. Maybe it's just my posture's (laughs) fucked up. Remember that fucking time you told me to get rid of double chin, (laughs) motherfucker. (laughs) This for anybody watching out there. This guy tells me one time he's like, dude. I know we, we were. What were we doing? We were sitting. In the, we were sitting in our kitchen. You're worried you look fat with a double chin. I was worried to look fat with a double chin. He's like, he's like, no. You were just chilling one day like this. I was like, what are you doing? He's like, getting rid of my double chin. I'm like, does that work? He's like, yeah. He's like, what do you think I'm doing it? I was like, in my head, I'm like, no fucking way. So like that night, I'm sitting in my room. I'm like. Fucking turns out this shit's totally fucking bogus. It doesn't get rid of your fucking double chin, dude. Maybe it did. Maybe it did. Have you seen those? Uh, Maybe it did. <clears throat> I don't know. Have you seen those new little? They uh, have those stupid teeth thing. You like put uh-uh. them in. You, they look like little donuts. Oh yeah. They're like so workouts like, for your thing. <laughs> they say it gives you like a harder jawline and gets rid of your double chin. I'm like, no fucking way oh. that shit works, dude. Oh my god, dude. it literally looks like I don't even know. It's the most ridiculous thing I've ever seen. All I'm going to try it to see if it works. All them hooers out there using them puppies. <laughs> right. They could suck all night long. Oh, oh, night long. Two weeks with one of them bad boys, you'd be able to suck a golf ball through a garden Son hose. Son of a bitch. Fuck. God damn it. I'm ordering one of those. I'm ordering one too. I'm ordering one of those now. Let me get a mic. Let me get a mic. Amazon here. <laughs> Oh, Fuck, shit. dude. So it's good, man. <clears throat> Not much, man. It's Friday night and these beers are going down quick. It's Friday night and I'm feeling all fucking right. Cheers, buddy. Cheers. Cheers, to the, bro. Cheers. Oh, fucking cheers to our peeps. Mm-hmm. Everybody out there watching us. You know, I'm going to start the show off right. I'm going to get us a little Palo Santo burning up in this Palo thing. Santo. Get some good vibes going out there. Palo you know? Santo. People are probably <clears throat> like, what in the hell is that? For those of you who don't know what Palo Santo is, Paulo Santo is some goddamn Hollywood. Hollywood. This Holy right here. Hollywood. Did we talk about Paulo that last time? Santo. We didn't talk about Paulo Santo. We didn't talk about that last time? Nope. Nope. So a lot of you guys out there like to use sage and stuff like that if you're into all that stuff and just keeping the good and bad energy. Paulo out. Santo is a goddamn <laughs> sacred wood. So you what? So the only problem with sage is sage actually gets rid of all the good and the bad energies. Paulo Santo is Hollywood. True story. It's supposed to only get bad energies out gone out of here so you go ahead you turn that upside down just a little bit like y'all saw me do right there you flip it right back up and you wait for her to go out oh fuck now we're doing instructional videos Boom, guys look at that Palo santo <laughs> now supposed to work that little circle now we're doing motions. instructional videos Woo, get those good energies flowing brother. son of a bitch healing benefits Palo santo is traditionally used for relieving common colds flu symptoms stress Asthma, headaches, anxiety, depression, inflammation, emotional pain, and more. Son of a bitch. See? Put this shit in a little little some of that piece of paper and smoke it up, Bubba. You'll I'm be feeling about. all right. You'll be feeling all right. Put a little bit in that in the horn. You'll be feeling all right. This is a horn, my brother. <laughs> my brother whittled, whittled away. Look at that. I actually, Real uh, horn there. He actually fucking got this himself off the cow. Mm-hmm. Smacked that cow on the ass horn fell right off. I don't know. I've been doing a lot of training. Been reading a lot of a lot of Native American books and stuff like that. And they said they used to actually get on those those horses, right? 
uh-huh. and they'd be a hogan on and a riding away. And they'd be a ride and they'd hang off the side of that thing. And they'd actually hook God, their damn. foot on the back side of the, 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 the spine. Really? Yeah. And they would hang underneath the neck as they would pull their arrows. Really? And shoot nearly. Them. I'm not shitting you, man. I it's crazy, be- dude. They said that an Indian could shoot like six arrows by the time an American or like a, a, a cowboy could shoot one bullet. I used to be an Indian. Doubt it. Yeah. We're not going to get that. We'll save that for another day. I'm going to save that for my diary, my diary <laughs> podcast. I'm sorry. Another podcast, everybody. Holden's diaries. No, I'm just kidding. I'm really not. That's too much. That's too much. This but is that is our a second video. That is a true story about the Indians. Though, I swear oh, to God. That's a sick story, dude. I'm not even joking. That's a sick story. I'm not trying to discredit you. you <laughs> not, that's a good story, bro. <laughs> that is a good fucking story. All right. Story, I'll bro. try and bring up my Native Americans next time. <laughs> They're up there like, hey, amen, brother. <coughs> hey. Oh, but seriously, dude, I really like that song that you started off with there. Is that a which is one? Is that an original? Smitten as kitten. Smitten as a kitten. Smitten I've been working on it a little bit. I'm still working on the lyrics. <coughs> You've been working on a... I've been listening to a lot of jazz and stuff still lately, so I've been kind of trying to... Oh, yeah. I was just jumping some... Dra- jump. What the fuck? Dude. <laughs> Oil's getting me, dog. Good beer. <laughs> Good CBD oils. <laughs> Good beer. Good CBD. Hang off horse, shoot arrow. <laughs> Under neck. Hang off horse, shoot arrow. Kill other people. Kill other Indians. Kill, oh, the, kill the cowboys. Any Indian listening to this right now is like, fuck this podcast. <laughs> fuck this shit. What kind of people they think we are? Son of a bitch. Fucking God damn it. Anyways. Old dude's like, I used to scalp gay men like him. Pull hair. Clean cut. When I cut head. Eagle, fly above. I look down below. Snakes slither past. <laughs> and then I hear the wind blowing. Like, damn. Damn. That's fucking good stories, dude. That's deep. No, I was drumming. You were asking me. I was drumming some uh, to some fucking jazz the other day, bro. I love playing jazz music, bro. What's that time? Blues. What's that signature you talk about all the time? Like uh, like quarter notes? So half quarter time? Notes, half time. What, you get to Swing? Get- Swing jazz beats. That's mm-hmm. when that dude gets oh, in. Dude. I know when I see it too because they hook it and like the, on their on like their hi hats. Yeah. And like oh, yeah. Dude, they just. <laughs> yep. Oh, see, there you go. I'm not a drummer. We got some fucking ASMR drumming in here. <laughs> I've been listening to a dude, lot if of. If we like, don't make it, <clears throat> if we don't make it anything else, we're gonna make it in ASMR. I've been listening to a lot of like uh, Duke Elliott, Anita O'Day, and of course. Count You've been listening to Anita Basin. all day? All day. All day? Yeah, I've been ah. listening to Anita all day, all day. <laughs> all day, all day, every day. Oh, 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 oh. Fuck, dude. But no, Son dude, it's good bitch. shit. I mean, I love that kind of music all the time, but like, I've actually really just started feeling the groove. Feeling I think it's it, maybe because our, our band's been, since this fucking pandemic's been our going on. Our band's been fucking fl- like a flaccid dick. We haven't been able to do shit. And it's I miss to those me. guys too, man. <clears throat> I miss them. I miss their faces. Dude. I just miss playing. The one nah. good thing about uh, just my chair right here, real quick. Just chair there, Boba. The one good Get thing it. about playing music is, at the end of the day, if you got a really bad day of rehearsal, you know, it's kind of like going to a second gig, but you're like, yeah, I just fucking want to go. But then it happens, and you let out that first rebel yell, and yeah. you're like, oh fuck! Yes, break first song breaks in, man. You ever like, seen a? You feel the passion with your band. You feel the happiness with your yeah. band. You know what I mean? Oh God, yes. Like those dudes are like. Like, you know, our, our brothers, you know, our family. Yeah, it really is. And you fucking, you just feel that, man. And it's a good feeling. The word band actually comes from the Indians as well. They're good, sir. Get out of here. They called them. They weren't called like tribes or anything like that. They were oh, called like bands. a band of brothers. Basically, that's where we came from. That's band where the brothers. word came from, though. Yeah. Read a fucking book, that. people. You understand that shit. Yeah, I play better. Red Dead Redemption, too. <laughs> you know about that. You an old Jack Black? <laughs> if it ain't old Jack Black. You're fatter than I thought you'd be. <laughs> Them there are fighting words. Well, that's not the word. Dude. I actually did that. I, I was I was listening to uh, my uh, audio books, and they're talking about how they were called bands, and it was like there was a band of Indians. They said there was a band. Yeah. And I was like, yeah. holy fuck. Because I think the way they kind of looked at it, maybe it was like a band of misfits, mm-hmm. and that's what we are. <laughs> no shit, dude. To a T. To a fucking T. I don't know. 
So that's just my uh, anal loving band of misfits. That's my theory on that one. Son right there. of a bitch. Miss sweaty, those dudes. sweaty but buttholes. Being at unshaved it. buttholes. <laughs> we like them all. Good God. You think a unshaved butthole smells worse than a hairy butthole? That's a good question, actually. Unshaved? No, I don't know. I think it would, man. The hair, hair is gonna traps hold more in there. Yeah. I don't know, dude. I feel like you get a little more swampy without the hair. I'm not very like skate back there, dog. Ugh. No shame in my game. I got everyone's no hair gonna hear this. My body, really. Everybody's gonna hear this. I don't give a <gasps> fuck. But I think I smell moderately all right. <laughs> <laughs> we're some <laughs> we're some blue collar boys, and we were out there working in the sun all day. Yeah. Anybody's gonna get swampy. It gets fucking hair or not, dude. You're gonna get a little you're gonna get some juices flowing back there. You think all them only fans girls gotta think about that? Oh, probably. I bet they do. Probably. They're like, well, am I gonna target the uh hairy side or the unshaved or the shaved side? Should I shave this or should I leave it? Like I mean, like, like if I had an OnlyFans account, like I'd probably do the best of both worlds. Measuring it. No, dude, like I'd be like, all right, so this month I'm going shaved. All you put an ad out. All you lovely uh hey <laughs> baby butt cheek smoothie lovers out there. I got two of them right here baby, for you. I got some fucking <laughs> got some smooth cheeks coming your way. <laughs> smooth motherfucking cheeks. All the guys that like carry ass, they're like, God damn it. God. Gotta wait another month. Fuck. Fuck, man. Just was starting to fucking like this guy. Can you imagine though, like I, I always feel bad for like the people that like are like imagine you subscribe to a chick and then she mm-hmm. decides like you're like, Oh fuck I'm like, I love hair, man. Oh yeah. Yeah. Uh, blah, she blah, shaves blah. like the I next week. I just picture that's how creepy guys sound. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> fucking just some <laughs> mm, my god. Yeah. I'm gonna buy this chick's panties. I'm gonna buy this chick's panties. So you subscribe, like you're <laughs> fuck, already dude. a dirty motherfucker for subscribing to an OnlyFans account. Yeah. And the next thing you know, you subscribe to her for everything you love. Mm. And then she decides to stop wearing black leather and shave. Oh, fuck. fuck! Son of a bitch. You know that what I'm bitch. That, that, Carol, that Baskin Carol Baskin the bitch. Baskin the bitch. <laughs> You're getting your money back at that point, dude. You got to. You know you they ain't your gonna, money back. You ain't going to give it back because you already had to buy diapers and formula for and a you, kid. And you know that shit ain't money back guarantee. So I think that's why. We talk about shit like this on. Uh, we're gonna start talking about this a little too much, and that's why that whole entire, that one company with the logo with the apple, with the bite taken out of it, don't like us a whole lot. Oh yeah, <laughs> not those fuckers. Names. Those fuckers. I'm not gonna mention any names. <laughs> they don't like us too much on their platform. There, they said that we'll be there before you know it. Don't worry about it. They say that we like to, we like to use some vulgar language. <laughs> I said, what the fuck. <laughs> <laughs> dude, I actually didn't realize how much I cussed until this. Dude, I, I think I used the fuck. I know. I dude. used the, the fuck. Just I fun. used the f word. It's as just like a fun. It's like an answer. It's like not. It's like putting pepper on your steak. You gotta put yeah. pepper on your steak. It's kind of like, but you know how like sometimes your mom's like you curse too much. Or mm-hmm. I didn't. My, our mom's like I didn't cuss until you guys started cussing. <laughs> I'm like I didn't cuss until you fuckers turned sixteen. <laughs> you act like we sound like a bunch of fucking pirates over here. Yep. Yeah, we do. Well, here we are. <laughs> here we are. That was lame. <laughs> hey, what was that joke you said last night? Ah, uh, dude, I, I can't. I can't say that right now. <laughs> you think that was too much? Yeah, that's a little too much right there. <laughs> we'll introduce that one on like episode Fuck. ten. I got to remember that one, dude. Yeah, because we'll that shit that. is gold. That one's gold. <laughs> Goose has a funny joke. Those of you that know him, text him. He'll tell you it. <laughs> he'll tell you it, dude. Good night, man. Good vibes going on. Good night. Good we a, juices. We had a little uh, complications earlier. We had, we did. I was frustrated, man. We had some complications with the laptop. Hey, shit this whole podcasting thing's a new thing for us, and uh, we're used to just going on stage and beating the shit out of our instruments. We just play the fucking shit out of music. That's all we know how to do. So this is new. It's, it's fun, fun though. It's fun. Fun. Yeah. It is fun. I'm like, I'm happy about it. We're uh, we got a lot of got a lot of good feedback from all you cool cats out there. Cool fucking cats, cool man. Cool fucking cats out there. Cool. Anyone listening to this, you're a cool motherfucker. Don't <laughs> let anybody tell you differently. Nobody's going to bring your fucking your fucking shine down. You're in a pandemic, goddammit. 
You're feeling good. You probably look good too. But what if we get great. like we got like really good response? So what if we get like really good response now and then like once everybody goes back to work, we just drop to zero. I know they're like fuck this podcast. <laughs> this podcast. <laughs> Like, what the fuck was I listening? They were just drunk the whole time. <laughs> Fucking drunk the whole time. They're like, why the fuck was I listening to these fucks? Jesus Christ. These guys fucking suck. Oh, man. God damn it, dude. Thank God that we uh, we still got enough beer in this time of crisis. Mm -hmm. We still got a case of natties we haven't even tapped yet. That's for emergencies only. <laughs> That's for when we're running dry. That's when you're desperate. <laughs> That's when the water run dry. I don't know. You gotta be tap the natty. <laughs> yeah, that's that. That's when you get pretty Ooh. bad. I still have I'm yet dehydrated, to dude. Again, that fucking shit makes me dehydrated. What? The oil. Oh, CBD. Cause you can give, give me some CBD oils. I'm like, oh. fucking dehydrated <laughs> over here. Why is that guy talking funny? I pick CBDs. <laughs> CBDs. They're like, God, these guys in their ASMRs over here. <laughs> No, I'm just dehydrated. <laughs> just trying to fucking breathe. Oh man, dude! I was actually stocking uh, I was stocking the fridge today with a bunch of beer, and then I was like, "Fuck!" Everybody's gonna just fucking think I'm a piece of shit if I don't fill the top half full of water. Give oh, out yeah. all this expert you see advice. It. You gotta see it. Like yeah. That. yeah, that's true. We're men of our words, though. Twenty four beers, and we got thirty six water bottles. See, see, Boom. one beer, hydrate. One water, one beer. One water. <coughs> look, look, look. Keep them both side by side, stacked up like a double shotgun. So you what? Dude, you heard a thick body wash shower gel? No. Dude, I'm going to do it. Uh, Andy Stump was talking about it. Andy Stump. Andy That's Stump a good podcast, man. That is a good fucking podcast. I don't know if a lot of you guys out there listen to podcasts other than this one, or you're just listening to this one because you... Want to see some sexy bods, but uh, Andy Stump's got a good one. <laughs> if you want to see some sexy boys, bad boys, that's us right here. Dude, Duke Cannon. Okay. Thick body wash. I'm going to get some, dude. Seven bucks. Huh. Andy Stump uses it. So if Andy Stump uses it, it's got to be good, dude. It's got to be good. I use uh, I use uh, the, the was it the African Oh, the, I got some of that, oh, dude. God. It's in a pump, though. I used to have a lot of like breakouts and stuff. I, I used all kinds of shit. I'm a I'm a I'm a bar man. I I'm use. a bar soap man. I can't rub the bar on my Dude, body though. That's I try gross. to do bars, but they dry out on me. No, they dry out no, on no, me, no, dude. No, no, you got to use an I don't actual have the little tray. Use a bar and a loofah. So oh, I take my okay. bar and I put it on my loofah. I can't think about having like a bar of soap and then like swiping that thing up the crack after a long day. I do like the, the credit next... card. Whink! Yeah, but the next day. The next day, though, dude, you don't have you don't think about that. Oh, using it again? Yeah, cleaning off good, dude. You can like clean a bar of soap so good. Or sometimes you stick it in the crack and clinch, and it shoots out. Bing! Is that when your wife's in the shower? <laughs> oh, okay. Hits her in the stomach. She's dude, like, ow. That shit's weird for me, so I gotta use a bar of soap when I use a loofah. If I yeah, use like, the if I use like the the gel stuff, I feel like I waste a lot of it. So I use the bar of yeah, soap, put I it on my that. loofah, dude. But no, that lather. that African black soap. And what as I'm talking, talking about? about this, I could just think about how fucking dirty my loofah is nah, after all those showers. <laughs> yeah. I'm over here acting like my bar. You get a lot of bacteria on them, man. Mm. You get a lot of well, bacteria. I change mine out like on like, a loofah as, as often. How as often? Possible. Not as often as you think. Like a month? Um, that's too long, man. That's too long? That's too long. That's like you using the same towel for a whole month, which I do. That's gross. I do. Hey, dude. <laughs> you got to save on laundry detergent. A dirty. <laughs> Dirty towel or laundry detergent. We're in a time of crisis right now. Exactly. Got to save on laundry I use detergent. A so I'll use that towel for fucking two months sometimes, dude. No way, dude, Fuck. Stop. stop. That's my body's gross. clean. Getting out. Hanging in hanging in my closet. Quink. I'm good, dude. I don't give a fuck. Everybody on this podcast I'm a man, is right dude. now. I was like, fuck this <laughs> nasty motherfucker. This guy's fucking sick. Once a no, week. No, I'm just kidding. The wife washes him once a week. Yeah, I switch on my towels every Don't so ask often. me because I don't even know how to turn on the washer. So. I switch on my towels every so often. Yeah, you need to switch those things out. I think For wash them with your laundry. I have two towels. Wash your winky. <laughs> I have two towels. <laughs> I regulate them out. I change uh -huh. my loofah once a month. I change my toothbrush once a month. Oh, dude. Freaking backwards. Got to change every toothbrush, too. My hair's catching on my shirt. You okay? I'm, I'm a hairy beast, dude. Hair. Sorry. Out the wazoo. But no, I switch out my... uh. 
I switch all my tell like often. I was actually reading this article the other day. Okay. Interesting article. It was actually from Dollar Shave because that's what I use. Mm. And they send you like the fucking wonkiest shit sometimes. They're not a sponsor or anything, so don't go buy. Don't buy them, guys. Buy them. They're really good. <laughs> um, I like it. Uh, but they send you like bathroom readers. Yeah. Like in an email form. Okay. Or they actually send them for yeah. in, in your in your shipment. No, my Adam and Eve thing does the same thing. God damn, dude. <laughs> Signing up for that right now. <laughs> Son of a bitch. Fuck Pornhub Premium free for a week. Free for a week. A week. That's it. That's all they gave you, dude. Fucking cheap, cheap bastards, dude. Motherfucker. They, dude. They got everybody with the cheap title. Cheap motherfuckers. We talked about that last time. You get them with the title. Cheap motherfucker. You got to read the fine print on that We're one. like, we're flattening the curve. But then no. you like sign up. It's like after one week, you'll be charged. Just like them fucking whatever I was just talking about. You better fucking have enough lotion. Because you better get to fucking spanking your monkey because telling you what, one week ain't damn near enough for me. Damn near enough. You, you, uh, if you got an iPhone, it's worth it, though, because you can screen record. That Ooh. Ooh. God damn. I'm not trying to get you all to do Son illegal shit out there. Bitch. What were we talking about? Oh, okay. Oh. Bathroom readers. Yeah. So, Dollar Shave. Mm-hmm. Yeah, bathroom readers. Uh, I read some uh, really fancy article the other day. Okay. Real, real fancy. They said that... You should wash your pillow, your pillow on case. Yeah. Your pillow like once every like three months or four months. Your pillow? Wash your pillow, dude, because they actually did. They did a study on it that like there's a shit ton of bacteria that gets through like the fucking the pillowcase. Yeah. Like sweat. uh, Dirt. If you get like a bloody nose, dirt. Dust, just natural dust. I didn't even think about this, dude. Yeah. I was like, what if your dog jumps up on the bed? I and was sleeps laying, the way, ain't looking. Yeah, yeah. And they my got dog all does kinds of stuff from outside. My dog sleeps right there. Yeah, That's exactly. But so what that, happens? What do they say though? If you got like a good check color? it out, bodily fluids. They say like if you have like a pimple or somewhere on your head or your face, it pops okay. at night. Yeah. It's seeping down into the fucking deep, deep, the deep nitty gritty of the pillow, right? So they said that oh, this is happening. This is Listen, gross. check it out. Or you get like, you know, a little sex, some sex juices on there. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. You know what I'm talking about? You know what I'm talking about? You're one of those guys sex that sex juices on there. Put the pillow under the wife. You know you're going to hit yourself in the cheek. So you go ahead and do the head turn. Mm-hmm. And she's like, oops. <laughs> oops. <laughs> All over the pillow, right? <laughs> Did I get you? Check it out, though. You're like, oh, it's fine. It's fine. It's fine, babe. It's cool. Just switch the pillowcase. Put that a new pillowcase on. Through. It's already soaked it already, into the fucking sense. tissues of the pillow. But what about like if you use like so really, that's nasty, dude. Like my pillows, I don't think you can think wash about them that. though. Like memory foam. Oh, you foam, have those fucking have like crazy ones, huh? Gel, no, they they foams. gave you ways to wash memory foam. They gave you ways to wash feller feller <laughs> feller pillows. <laughs> <laughs> they gave you a way to wash feather, feather pillows. God damn it, dude. Okay. And whatever, uh, just normal like hmm. what's the normal cotton cotton. Right. Yeah. Yeah. Holy shit. It's interesting, dude. dude. That just mind boggled the living fuck out of me. It's interesting. So everyone out there listening, watching, <laughs> wash your goddamn pillows. Either that or just subscribe Safely. to the Dollar Shave Club using our code. I'm just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> hey, you look like you could use a shave. <laughs> this was just an ad. <laughs> Whole entire thing, just one big fucking. This ad. was just an ad. <laughs> Sign up for Christ. Dollar Shave Club. <laughs> Second episode demonetized. <laughs> Dollar Shave's like fuck this fucking. <laughs> fuck man, y'all never be getting a fucking Dollar Shave code from us. <laughs> you ain't getting shit. I ain't getting shit from them. They're like, oh, you use our product. <laughs> fuck you, buddy. <laughs> I'm like, hey, dude, I can't order from Dollar Shave anymore. I'm like a full beard. <laughs> hey, dude, I can't order from Dollar Shave. I can't Shave. use them. I can't use them anyways because I can't use anything more than a, a single edge razor because my face is so sensitive. Uh, yeah, all they have is the humble twin. That's what I use. <sighs> what I do for Just some humble blades. twins. <laughs> <laughs> Tell you Jesus. what. No. All they have is the humble twin, uh-huh. and then they have like the, I think there's like three blades or four. Okay. And then the executive. It's like six blades. Fucking, I'm still running an ad here, dude. <laughs> I've never even gone onto their website because I know they don't got what I need. I like it. That and I use. I that. like it. I know a lot of people do too, Goose. So before you judge me, I ain't judging, dude. That's what I, I use. Judge. I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> I 
Oh, dude, what do you think of that fucking PS5, bro? I haven't seen anything on it. Dude, it's pretty cool. Fuck, I showed you a picture the other day. Oh yeah, you did the white. Okay, so is that an actual picture, or is that I like think. some guy in his mom's basement? I think some guy in his mom's basement jerking off to fucking yeah, he like jerking like- off to an OnlyFans page. <laughs> Everybody out there that every guy right now that has an OnlyFans are like <laughs> deleting it. Just deleting it. Like, you know what? Deleting it. Yeah. I did join this. This guy's right. Because I liked big booty girls and now all they post are skinny bitches. These guys are right. Imagine joining like a fat chick's fucking OnlyFans and then she goes on a diet. <laughs> he logged back on. She's like, my progress. She's <laughs> like, no. <laughs> bitch, bitch! I subscribe for twenty. She only charged me ten because you half the size you was. <laughs> Holy fuck, dude! You're texting her. Hey, can I get a refund? <laughs> Think I need at least fifty percent off. Fuck, dude! No, I think that. I think that, uh, dude. We're on a roll. Oh, We're roll tonight, dude. <laughs> oh, We're fuck. giving fucking hot, dude. <laughs> hot and heavy. <laughs> I think that PlayStation is uh, how the fuck? That's the PS. That's a PS5 pillow. Imagine the dude that made that. Imagine the dude like he that's his, the controller. Right he there. had his wife make all the PS5 pillows because he's such a PlayStation fan, and they release it and they come out the new like logo, <laughs> right? <laughs> PlayStation's like, hey, first time ever we're updating our logo. <laughs> He's like, <laughs> <laughs> no! <laughs> Fuck! <laughs> That's a fr- fucker, that dude. looks like the Xbox controller, Sad dude. It does. It what really does. What the fuck? I play PlayStation because I hate the Xbox controller. It really does. It looks just like it. Yeah. That's upsetting. Oh, my God, dude. Because you know why they're doing that? They're claiming you know why they're doing that? Because poor people play Xbox. Ooh. <laughs> fuck. Ooh. <laughs> About 70% of the world just said, fuck this podcast. <laughs> <laughs> Hashtag broke life. <laughs> oh, shit. Oh, my God. They're saying man. they're going to be 550 550 I think that's a little steep, dude. Yeah, that's better be. Much. This thing better fucking do my dishes for me. This thing better fucking... <laughs> This thing better wipe my ass. I don't know how much better they can get. Like, what are we looking for? I know, dude. I are think we, the graphic. I'm content with the graphics like, on my PlayStation. Trust 4. me, dude. Like, content. I think it's cool. Like, if you get shot from your PlayStation and shit, but mm-hmm. like, I'm not ready for that to actually get shot. Like, that's what, what. That's the next step, dude. We're actually what, gonna get like fucking. I know. Like, what do we need? A do we even need at that point in time? Like PlayStation Five. Like, I just picture we put on our goggles and we're yeah. in like Ready Player One. Pretty much, dude. Yes, Ready Player One. Cause Fuck. shit's dope already. That movie's so fucking good, dude. And I think that's where we're heading, honestly. I hope so, dude. Because that one part where she like rubs his body, you can like. But then imagine like it's just some dude grab real boobies on there. Yeah, you need. Hey, as long as his avatar's a chick, it ain't gay. That's true. As long you as his know. avatar's a chick, it ain't gay. Some guy's all pissed off because his fucking fat only fans lost weight. Mm-hmm. He's just like, I'm going to go on here and I'm going to fucking, I'm going to rail me and some boys. I'm going to suck this guy's dick. <laughs> Ooh, I'm going to suck this guy's dick <laughs> off. He's like, who are you like, all? Damn, that was the best blowjob I ever had. Turns out it's like, forgets his name the voice. Jimmy. Forgets the voice filter. He's, He's like, like you're thank you. <laughs> <laughs> thank you. Like, oh, fuck. <laughs> I just got my dick sucked by guy. <laughs> all right. This is happening. Could you imagine like. Then M- you go back like the next day, you're like. I'm gonna get my dick sucked by a guy again. You think MTV Best blood job I ever had? MTV Catfish would ba- bounce back after that one, <laughs> dude. That's a good show, dude. They're like that this, is a good show. They're like this guy thinks that he's been catfished by his gaming partner by an avatar. <laughs> avatar, it's like too hot, Cindy three two one six five. <laughs> Megan sucks <laughs> with with three X's. <laughs> Megan sucks X X X six nine. <laughs> Thank you, Nanny. Thank you. <laughs> it's just a recorded voice. I'm like, listen. I'm like, thank you. I'm like, you're like, hey, hey, you want to? We're gonna go over here and play this game real quick. You're like, thank you. <laughs> you hear in the back, like, bling bling. I'm like, dude, is that somebody? Bling 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 bling. bling. <laughs> Fucking five hundred dollars in. Bling 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 bling. <laughs> dude, you're getting catfish right now. <laughs> 
I'm like, dude, you're getting catfish. That's all. She, she literally has three phrases. <laughs> it's just repeating. Oh, so big. <laughs> Thank you. And then they hit the button so many times to repeat it. It's like, it's like, thank you, thank you. Mm, you're so, mm, you're so, mm, you're so big. Mm, 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 you're so big. I'm He's like, like, dude. Maybe she has bad internet. <laughs> you know, like when you're playing like a video I'm game, like, you're like, mm, <laughs> you're playing Call of Duty with dude. your buddy, and he comes around the corner six times. You're Bad like, weefy. Hey, dude, you lagging? <laughs> He's like, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> like, nah, I just killed two people. <laughs> and then he resets all the way back at the beginning. <laughs> oh, fuck, I'm lagging. <laughs> I would have killed you all if I wasn't lagging right there. <laughs> you fucking kill him, too. Being, in, being that we we're originally from Colorado, we lived in the middle of nowhere. We had really bad Wi-Fi. <laughs> So when we tried playing online, that's essentially what happened to us. <laughs> we could not fucking play. It was a terrible. So finally, we moved to the city. We moved to Las Vegas. I'd fucking like stab like six people. I'm like, <laughs> <laughs> you think you're just fucking killing it, dude? I'm like, I'm like, dude, where's my kill streaks? Oh, you know what the worst part would be, dude? Like you're playing, you're like, oh fucking, you're kicking ass, dude. You have five kills already. You're like, I'm fucking dominating, <laughs> dude. It glitches and it's still counting down the game. <laughs> What the fuck? <laughs> I just killed five guys. Everybody's running up to your dude, fucking glitching, <laughs> doing this. You're like, all right, I'm going to just fucking leave the game because this is embarrassing. I hope that like. Fuck, dude. Okay, so back. Uh, dude, we got way off topic for the PlayStation 5. We but really I did. hope that PlayStation 5 brings some real <laughs> shit like that. It'd be cool, man. I think VR. I don't like the controllers, though. I think VR is advancing enough. I don't like the controllers to do stuff like that. No, I don't like to. I don't really like them either. But that could be just a fucking fake render, dude. You don't. You never know. Yeah, exactly. But it's looking pretty. Legit. That's like everybody talking about the Ford Bronco right now. That's from like Business Insider. Oh my god. I don't know how I feel about it, dude. Everybody keeps like posting pictures, dude. Nobody knows what it looks like. It's a four door. Yet. They're saying like like pull it up, dude. If dude. It's actually gonna be a fucking four door. I'm that's not, not a Bronco. For, I'm not down for it, dude. Come on. That's that's not a it's Bronco. It's supposed to be this year. 2020, right? Out. Yeah, but dude, they say everything's going to come out. And then in like 2020. You know what did come out this year? Day. What? Coronavirus. <laughs> Too soon? COVID-19. <laughs> COVID-19, motherfucker. Too soon. We'll bring that up in a couple Look at weeks. that beauty right there. Dude, that's a fucking. Look at that beauty right there, right dude. There. Yeah, that one. That that's, is a fucking truck, What is dude. that, like a generation two? That looks like a. That looks, a looks like a. Two. That looks like a. Mm, maybe Gen 1, bro. Look at that front end. No way, dude. Because you got a Generation 3. That's a Generation 2. The Gen 1s had the... Look, that's what they're saying it's going to look like. That's a render. I don't know how I feel about that, dude. <laughs> looks like a fucked up Durango. Looks like a fucking piece of shit. Yeah, but is that from... That says the daily want. That's not from Ford. Looks like a piece of shit, dude. That would be cool like that. I'd be okay with that's that. That's nice. That's futuristic. It kind of looks like a Jeep, though. Look at the front windshield. I'm really scared that it's going to come out and it's going to look just like the new Jeeps. Look at the front windshield, dude. Looks like Master Chief's fucking helmet. That's kind of cool. Imagine how much that sick. window costs. Look at that. I, I don't know. I would kind of be okay with that. You see, I like but the But it's new, so four-door, man. I like the four-door Jeeps, and I never thought that I would. Look, there's a different one. If it looks oh, like two that, renders. if it looks like that, I would be okay with it. That? Yeah. That's pretty nice. It looks like an but F-150. See, even how it's coming from Bronco6G.com, I don't think that that's what it's going to look like. It's like <laughs> Bronco Cock 65, 65. <laughs> Like, who made this fucking picture? It's like Bronco King 6976. Because he's fucking about, he's about 69 in and America at the same time. God damn, dude. And then at the end, this is mega. That's pretty cool. That's fucking So what happened? Sexy, was it dude. Rampage? The Rock drove that one. That's nice. Yeah. That what was you, cool. How did they do that? And then they're fucking saying it's con- it's right. completely different. Well, do you remember like when Trans- that thing was sick? But dude. do you remember when Transformer came out and they had the Camaro in it for the mm-hmm. first time? And, and then, then it was completely and different. And then it came out and it looked like a fucking boxy cavalier. Yeah. And everybody was like, what the fuck? You know, like, but I then wish everybody bought back, it anyways because they're like, America. You know what I wish Ford would bring back? What's that? The Pinto. <laughs> dude. The classic. I'd go balls car, deep. I'd go balls deep in a Pinto, dude. Dude, it was a classic car, man. It really was. I'll go balls deep in a Pinto. Dude, that's sick. Look at that. 
Dude. That looks fake as fuck, dude, but that is sick, dude. Well, yeah, but that's what every actual, like, Bronco lover, like, Ford Bronco lover is would praying for. It would look like. And look that's that not. Look at that front look right like. there, the little curve. That motherfucker's got the curvature. See, like that one right there? See that uh, next Where? to the blue one Where? right there on the right? That one right there. On, my, on the right, dude, I'm dyslexic, bro. The yellow yeah, one? Yeah, because you definitely went to the, the left. What the fuck is that? I didn't mean to click on that, dude. So see the blue one on the far left? Yeah, this guy. To the right is the black This guy? One. Yeah, right there. <clears throat> dude, that looks great. That's man. nice. I like the wheels, too. Look at those. That's things. what I wish the Bronco would look like. Look at that. Look at that. Mm, mm, mm. I don't know. One of That's those sick, dude. You know what is sick, though? The new um, the new uh, Ranger. Dude, I really like it. I like the Ranger. I really like I it. I think it's cool. Look at that. Look at that bad boy. If you're an F-150 fan, you'll like it. That See, that's kind of what like the that's what the generation ones look like. Mm-hmm. That that first one you showed was definitely generation two. This is that's gonna beat the old sad, models, dude. man. This no. is gonna beat it. You just like, can't like, beat you like, can't beat those old cars, man. Like, like something about like, dude, when you're driving your Bronco mm-hmm. and like you go to shift from like second to third mm-hmm. and you actually feel it go <laughs> and then it grabs. Like, dude, you can feel shit engaging in that. Yeah, dude. That thing's working, man. That thing is fucking working. That's the one car. Like a goddamn tractor. That's a car. That's like the one truck I ride in, dude. And I can actually feel that fucker working. That motherfucker, it's putting in, it's putting in the fucking work. You can feel that bitch. Oh, yeah. You get a new car. You just go like my, my truck. You're gone. Yeah. You put that fucker in drive. You're at the store already. The Bronco. Dude, my truck backs itself up with the trailer. The Bronco. You're like. Are you going to make it? Yeah. And it's like, fuck yeah, I'm going to make it, brother. Well, that's because only half your gauges work. Fuck yeah. The bro- hey, dude, <laughs> relax. I'm t- working on that, all right? I got a Bronco. I got a Bronco actually gifted to me. But no, that a was... Real, by a real cool fucker, and I'm really fucking, really, really happy for that. But that was like the, the coolest thing about, uh, like when I had my old 50 Pontiac, dude. Like when you <clears> drove in that thing, man, you felt that You feel working. that motherfucker especially, working, dude. Especially when you go to turn it and there ain't no power steering. You feel that son of a bitch working. Yeah, luckily I got power steering in Bronco. One thing I could ask America, bring back real cars. So one that thing would make America great again. That'd make America great again. That would that's, make America great again. Honestly. That's when I think of MAGA, that's what I think about. Honestly. Is it MAGA or Mega? I've always been con- I've always been cuz Mega is M E G A. Yeah, maybe. MAGA. 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 Huh. Mr. President? <laughs> What is it? <laughs> we get an email. Yeah. Holy shit. Holy shit. He messaged us back. Hey, Mr. Prezi Wezzy. <laughs> hey, Trumpy Wumpy. If you hear us, if this podcast makes it to you, come on down and have some beers. Oh, my God, dude. Could you imagine how it responded? Could you you imagine like the, the like the fucking everybody like that lives around us just like fucking see all these black limousines <laughs> rolling in? Trump comes in, <laughs> chilling, dude. Fucking just smoking a cigar, having a beer. Dude, the coolest fucker. I would, I would fucking bust out a cigar for that one right there. <laughs> it's the coolest fucker ever, dude. Everybody that fucking that would fucking kick ass. Man. Every liberal right now is like fuck this podcast. <laughs> I'd light one up. I'd smoke a cigar with fucking Trump, dude. No doubt. No fucking doubt. I do a desk pop. Dude, too. there's something about like smoking. I get my 45 and I do it. I do a desk pop with him, dude. Dude, just something like some yeah. There's that fucker. <laughs> Speaking of a devil. God damn it, dude. Looking, Speaking of him. Looking like a tangerine. Looking like a little looking like a little tight tangerine. <laughs> Look at you there, Trump. I think his butt cheeks are as orange as his face. <laughs> this is the white line. <laughs> it's cracked. <laughs> Just like <laughs> think you forgot some. <laughs> his, his butthole looks like his eyes. <laughs> A little white ring around it. <laughs> like the perfect little like his lips. God, when he does that. Damn it, dude. Dude. Uh, don't <laughs> that, don't get us wrong. We love America and we love everything about Mr. Sir Donald Trump, but we do. We do. We're proud to be Americans. God damn it. This is a land of the goddamn free. So like the first like, the brave. The only thing that sucks about that is he might have came down and had a beer and a cigar with us, but then you started with the whole tangerine butthole thing. You did. Me? Yes, about I was his talking ass. Talking about his butt cheeks. 
You need a beer? Yeah. Go get us some. I'll get one. Please? Dude, I'll get one. Oh, thank you, sir. I'll be right back. Hey, you have a good you have a good walk over there, buddy. <clears throat> you know, I was actually uh I was thinking about with like all the shit that's going on right now and everything like that, and everybody talking about how it's uh we're all like kind of this whole coronavirus thing and everything like that is uh fake and all the conspiracy theories going on about it. I watched the Lego movie the other night. Dude. Some real shit in there? Dude, the Lego movie's got some real shit in it, bro. I'm not even kidding, man. You don't say. No, because what are they? I don't remember what they call him in that. Like the, the, whatever his name plays that part, like the lead dude. Oh, uh, like the. Will Ferrell. Will Fer- oh, the government guy? Hmm? Yeah. Mm hmm. Craggle, dude. Yeah, the craggle. Mm-hmm. It's like the whole entire time, like everybody's just like by the book and plays by the directions. Yeah. Dude, that's America, man. Yeah. That is. It we is. all just play by the rules, man. We're all just fucking. We all play by the rules. We're all just stamped on a fucking sheet, dude. And we're all reading the same fucking book, man. Yeah, but it's like when he gets arrested and stuff like that, and mm-hmm. the cops like, "Oh yeah, this." Guy. He's like, "What are you talking about? He's the best guy ever. He makes the best TV shows and the best this." And he's like, "And the best voting." Oh my god, <laughs> <laughs> that part hit. I was like Trippy. watching it. I was like, "Holy shit, dude!" And this in that movie, same moment, you're like, "Oh my god, <laughs> <laughs> this movie is so politi- politically politically correct. Like, it's not even funny." It's dude. a trip. I haven't seen actually. I haven't seen that in a long time. In a, dude, in a minute, but anybody out there, watch the Lego movie. And like instead of just laughing at it, the, well, laugh at it the whole time because it's fucking Shit's hilarious. Fucking gold, dude. But just watch like how accurate it is to like American people. They really did do some fucking like little some real uh, shit, some little snippets in there. Huh? Yeah, they hit you with some real shit in that fucking movie, dude. And I'm like, oh fuck, that's crazy, man, for a cartoon too. <sighs> yeah. Smart, smart of them to do that. Rockefellers let that one slip, huh? Yeah. <laughs> like, oh, they they seen it come on their desk. Rockefeller like, oh, it's a fucking Lego movie. Let it go. Yeah. Let it Children's through. Children's movie. Children's movie. There's some secret messages in Guess that. Guess what, motherfucker? Illuminati. Illuminati, motherfucker. <laughs> Hurt. Whatever happened to the Illuminati? Remember, that was like a big deal I know, in like dude. the 2000s. Um, Tom Cruise. Tom everybody Cruise. was a part of the Illuminati. Yeah, Tom Cruise, dude. And then like 2000 hit. Or like 2015 hit. With his fucking teeth off-centered. Or I, it's, it's completely... What, what are, are they? they? What's, What's that? that? Completely online. Yeah. I have like, off-centered teeth. The Gen X kids hit, and like the Illuminati just disappeared. Mm-hmm. Everybody's talking about that uh, pizza thing. What's that? I don't know. Every, every everybody's talking. It's like an underground. I don't, oh yeah, I don't know if it's yeah, like yeah, a yeah. cult or some it was, shit. Uh, it's like God, fucking the pizza. That? It goes all the way dates all the way back to like mob mobsters, dude. Out of the shadows is that YouTube series. Out of the shadows, they yes. talk about it, and yes. like supposedly Walt Disney and all these guys used are in on it. Yeah. They're all in on this shit. But I hear a lot of people saying that's who was targeting fucking uh, Tom Hanks, actually. Really? Saying he was a pedophile. Because, because I guess it's what this platform does. But yeah. I don't know how fucking that true that is. That was the biggest load of shit. Dude. Bunch of whistleblowers nowadays. Can't prove that. Dude, that's true. Like, you can't prove that he was or that he wasn't. Can't prove that he... You can't prove that Either these or. people are saying this about him, dude. I think Tom people Hanks. Are saying, people are saying this is all bullshit. They're saying that. All the articles that were released were completely fake because you can't find anything saying Tom Hanks is a fucking pedophile. Tom Hanks. They're saying he falsified his coronavirus thing. Yeah, so he didn't have to get expedited for getting arrest to get arrested <sighs> or some bullshit, shit. Dude. I think that's bullshit, dude. dude I don't fucking. The guy spent that. four years on a fucking island with a volleyball. Do you really think he's gonna fake this shit, <laughs> Wilson? <laughs> dude, Tom Hanks is one of my favorite actors. He's one of my favorite fucking actors. He's a great actor, dude. Absolutely, hands down, favorite actor. I think that, like, nowadays, though, since, like, 2000, about 18, Mm -hmm. like, the whole whistleblower thing's been, like, a huge thing. So, if it did happen to him, I don't believe that it did happen, but I do believe that somebody did try and accuse him of being, you know, a child molester. Tried to accuse him, exactly. So, they said this chick tried saying that when she was young. Shit, sorry, I didn't mean to hit the mic. Um, She tried saying that when she was young, like, Uh like, really, really little. Yeah. That her family knew... Tom Hanks or some shit like that, and she said that he she tried he tried to molest her or something like that. When she so was this is like before he was famous. I I think so because she's like in her mid twenties, late twenties now. Okay. 
But it's fake, dude. I don't, you well, can't find the if article. If she's in like her mid twenties, then he was definitely a lot older because he's like sixty something. You can't find the article. Yeah, handsome too. He's handsome. I don't know. Anybody tries coming at Tom Hanks, you got to get through me first because that's my boy. I'm not saying that. Comes I- out, he's a p- f- total pedophile. <laughs> I'm like, fuck that guy, dude. That guy's a sick fuck. Like in like six months, we do like another podcast. You like, you hear about that sick fucker Tom Hanks? <laughs> That Who is this guy? That guy's a real fucking piece of shit, dude. Who the fuck is this guy? Apparently, he was in some movie with the fucking ball. Mm-hmm. Fucking sick bastard. Yeah, you better keep on fucking running and don't stop. Because if I ever find your ass, I'm gonna fucking pumble you. This I'm podcast, gonna put your little dick in the dirt. <laughs> this podcast is deleted. It's completely edited. Where I'm like, he's my favorite actor. <laughs> <laughs> kind of like a what was it Joe Rogan when he did that one with the guy about saying that the that movie about the vegetarians was bullshit. I don't know if I heard that one. You didn't hear that? I don't think so. He did a podcast with a guy about a... Maybe. It's like about that movie. Uh, is it Meat Eater? No, not something like that. Meat Eater? No, that's the No, oh, that's the hunting that, guy. Uh, Bo Hunts. Yeah, I love that show. And whatever it was, it was about like how being a vegetarian and stuff, it's better for you. Mm. Well, they brought the other guy on that was like from the other side. I don't remember. Like, I'm, Don't hold me to like all this shit because I sound like an idiot not remembering names right now. But... What happened was, is this guy came on and just grenaded this whole entire thing that Mr. Titanic did this whole video and uh, James Cameron. Mm-hmm. Um, so he produced the whole thing. Hey, Jamie, Jamie. <laughs> if you're listening, we got some ice cubies. <laughs> we'll put them in your drinky stinky. We got some ice books down here. <laughs> Come on down. <laughs> no, but seriously. So, like, he did this whole thing, and this guy came on and just fucking shot the whole thing to shit about how being a vegetarian is bullshit, blah, oh, blah, blah, blah. Like, they can't actually prove any of this. While Joe mm. Rogan brings the other guy on. Oh, damn. And Joe Rogan's Both like, sides. Basically, the whole entire thing, like, when it ended, Rogan's like, fuck that fucking video, that show, you know? And then uh, the other guy comes on, and Joe Rogan's like, hey, this guy was so good that I deleted my first <laughs> podcast. God damn it, dude. I'm like, what the fuck? <laughs> Joe Rogan! What are you doing? I was on the carnivore diet for two weeks, you fuck. <laughs> Not that I stopped. Is he vegetarian now? <gasps> I like meat. <laughs> he likes meat. There's three oh, things meat. you need in this world. It's women, beer, meat. True. That's all man needs right it's there. It's true, man. All the women true listen fucking to this. Statement. Fuck this podcast. They're like, wow, these are some really disgusting fucking yeah, guys. But I'm sure there's like women out there that are like, there's only three things I need in this world. That's dick, beer, and meat. They say that, dude. Women are vulgar, man, about dick. I they, think- can, they can sit there all day long like, I'm going to get some dick. <laughs> I need cock. But as soon as a guy says something, fuck us. We're fucking pieces He's of shit. sick pig. Yeah, we're just pieces of shit for talking about it. But no, they can text I'm sure their, there is. I think women are worse than men and they, they just can, don't want to show it. They can text their girl like, I need day with, with like in 50 eyes. Dang. What's the other one they send? The fucking, the, I don't know emoji things. I don't oh, the, emojis. what is that? I don't do technology very well. It's the purple fucking thing, right? Eggplants. Eggplant. Dude, I like it's eggplant. It's like eggplant, 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 like slobber, slobber, I like slobber. like eggplant, dude. She's like, girl, I'm going out on a date. Eggplant, eggplant, eggplant. eggplant. That like, bitch. Yeah. With the water drops? What is that? But then she gets on the date and expects you to pay? What's the water drops? Are you dehydrated? Do you need water? No, dude. Do you need water? That's the needy greedy. That's the baby juice. If I got a text like that, I'd be like, oh, cool. She's going out. She's going to have a salad. She's going on a date. She's going to have herself an eggplant salad with some water. Good for her. Be like, girl, you go, girl. <laughs> Getting healthy 2020, <laughs> COVID 19 healthy. <laughs> you get healthy, bitch. No, it turns out, dude, she's, she's looking for a, some fucking dick. She's just a whore. You fucking whore. God damn it. I don't know. I think that women can be really dirty and really bad, and the men will never know. Uh-huh. Maybe it's just our conspiracy theory as men. You, you ever walk past, like... Excuse me. Oh, my God. <laughs> <laughs> I just burped. <laughs> I'm just kidding. You ever walk, like... I remember this happened at Disneyland when we were there. Okay. You walk past Happiest the bathrooms. Happiest place on earth. Oh, fuck, dude. Bless it. Bless it. I miss it every day. You walk past the bathrooms, and like the women's bathroom smells absolutely terrible. And the men's, no smell at Immaculate. all. Immaculate. I'm sorry, women, but. That's because we're clean. Maybe it's because we you can You guys aim. get fucking dirty. What if they all just Sometimes. Because- but you got to figure, man. They I have never like. compared a woman's dirtiness to the smell of their bathroom, but. Yeah, you gotta figure, dude. They have like all these holes they gotta keep clean. 
<laughs> this is going down a path y'all don't want to be on. Right like, now. Fuck this podcast. No. I love you guys. <laughs> Women out there, thank you for what you do. <laughs> thank you for uh, bringing peace to men. Okay, let's get off this topic before we get shut down completely. Demonetized. <laughs> let's get off this topic before we get shut down completely, dude. No. Well, yeah. Um, Just keep yourself a little cleaner, okay? <laughs> and your bathroom's fucking clean. That's all I'm asking you. I think, I think, I don't know, man. Maybe it's just because like twice as many women have to use the bathroom as there is men. That's true, man. It's easy for us to just pull on our fucking dick and just pee, dude. Yeah. It's easy, man. Yeah. We're clean. We're clean. It's nice. My wife tells me all the time, she's like, you're so lucky that you get to just freaking pee. We can pee anywhere. We can yeah. pee anywhere we wanted to. It's women not weird. We can't do that. It's not weird. What, like you see a girl, you see a girl peeing out behind a tree, you're like, oh my God. <laughs> <laughs> and that's why oh you don't god. see it because there's people out there that just oh my god <laughs> exactly because it's so taboo I guess I don't, I don't know. know if it's taboo but what the fuck it is dude we've been fucking on one tonight yeah <laughs> we've been on a fucking wild we've ride a, tonight we've definitely been on guys a we've been wild working all chain. week we've been fucking doing some blue collar shit so we needed to get on here and let off some steam feels good this is our version of a desk pop Yep, we're doing a desk pop right now. We made the. <laughs> I don't know. Dude, that fucking CBD is getting to you. The CBD. <laughs> that CBD is getting to you. No, it wasn't the CBD. I didn't know if I was going to say the God given American right to shoot my firearm wherever the fuck I want or to talk about something. Sexual. I want to, dude. I know. Sometimes I, 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 I like, I let my, I let my clip decompress. Yeah, call me call me gay if you want, but you let I'd your say, clip decompress. Yeah, like end of the week. You think it just gets tired by the end of the week? It's sitting in my gun. I get tired. My clip's got to get tired, right? <laughs> just pop it out. I pop it out. You pour a little beer on it. I pop. I pop Soak all your the, bullets in some bourbon. I pop. <laughs> That's a fucking American <laughs> dude. Guy gets shot. He's like, oh, Ugh, that bourbon. Is that bourbon? I taste. <laughs> Damn right it is, Bubba. Then your best friends for life. Try to rob me fucking ten seconds ago. Now your best friends for life. There you go. But uh, no, I let I I fucking pop all my rounds out, let it decompress overnight. Like usually, typically, you know, Thursday, Friday night. Yeah. Let my let my clips decompress a little bit. Let the spring dick. Chad actually told me to do that. Go on. My step pappy told me. He's a military man. Told me to let my clip decompress. So I do. Take all my rounds out, let it sit overnight. Mm-hmm. Next day, put my rounds in. And as, as I'm loading those rounds, I'm like, fuck, I want to do a fucking desk pop right here in my room. Like set up some cans. I wish it was a little BB gun. I wish it wasn't that harmful. Set up some cans, have some target practice on my bed. Yeah. 45 in the house. Yeah. <laughs> Are you all right? Sometimes I feel the same way when Are I go into right? a grocery store. <laughs> And I see a big old long line of people. Who's? I want to do a desk pop right here. <laughs> I'm like, the whole time you're talking about that, I'm like, don't bring up the Mexicans. Don't bring up oh, the Mexicans. Shit. No, I'm just kidding, guys. We're half, <laughs> we're half Mexican, so we can talk about that. We really are. Well, holy shit. That's what it's like talking to us on a Friday night right there. A lot of fucking shit, huh? A lot of shit coming off. A lot the chest of fucking right there. shit, man. That was good, man. That was fun. Couple beers. That was nice. Couple beers. Some good times. <laughs> nice and pissed off <laughs> at all of our shit. Half an eighteen pack <laughs> later. Fucking me. Couple beers. All right, well, let's fucking go ahead and sign off here. We're gonna leave on a good note. Cheers. Cheers. Cheers to our peeps. Cheers to everybody out there. Have a good night. Stay safe. I know we joke around a lot, but stay safe out there. Stay and all safe. This craziness stay home. On. Stay home. Just be grateful you woke up every day. And that's all. Love you. See you. Bye.